Next, I'm honored to introduce Ukraine's ambassador to the United States, Oleg Shamshur. Over the years, Ambassador Shamshur and his team of hardworking diplomats have gone the extra mile to facilitate VOA's coverage of visiting Ukrainian officials, the latest example of which is uh, Foreign Minister Poroshenko's visit to Washington this week. Also, the Ukrainian embassy, housed in the historic Forest Marbury building in Georgetown, and that's the building where George Washington met with local landowners in 1791 and set in motion the purchase of land for our capital, regularly, regularly hosts events relating to U.S.-Ukrainian relations, which we cover in our broadcasts. Although many in Washington might savor an invitation to a reception at the Italian or French embassy with their fine culinary traditions of those two countries, those of us who were raised on Ukrainian soul food know that the best ticket in town is an invitation to a reception at the Ukrainian embassy. <laughs> Ambassador Shopsuk. Thank you very much for this heartfelt introduction, Congresswoman Governor, Ambassador, dear friends. So I'm extremely pleased to be here to celebrate the 60th uh, anniversary of the VOA's uh, Ukrainian service. And that is for a number of reasons, uh, but first of all, I would like to say that as someone who was born and uh, raised, educated in uh, the uh, Soviet Union, well, maybe I understand better than anyone else here how important was the role played by the VOA, its Ukrainian service, in putting down Berlin Wall in the minds of millions of people who were born, raised, and educated, and were living under the totalitarian regime. For us, VOA, its Ukrainian service, it was sort of the window of truth uh, from which we learned about our true history, true history of Ukraine, when Holodomor was not mentioned, it was actually a taboo. Uh, we learned the ABCs of democracy, information about the uh, United States, about the world, true information which was uncensored, and definitely, we learned by bits that there was different life from uh, life from the one we were experienced in the Soviet Union, a life of prosperity, of democracy, of the rule of law. And it was extremely important. After independence, I think that the Voice of America, its uh, Ukrainian service, uh, is still playing, uh, has been playing a very important role um, to foster bilateral relations between our countries, uh, to foster intercultural communication, intercultural dialogue, and also promoting democratic values. Well, uh, actually, I noted that VOA Ukrainian service was created one year after the adoption of the Declaration of Human Rights. And we might recall the Article 19 of the Declaration states that everyone has the right to freedom of opinion and expression. And this was really uh, one of the top principles followed by VOA Ukrainian um, service. And uh, we definitely should recognize that freedom of speech has been the most important achievement of the Orange Revolution that we have been uh, celebrating recently. I'm quite convinced that no matter how serious our current political and economic challenges faced by Ukraine, Ukraine definitely has evolved since 2004 in a true democracy with very bright, uh, vibrant, very influential uh, civil society. And in my opinion, so I'm convinced of that, that is the best guarantee that all problems will be overcome and Ukraine will continue its path towards mature democracy, uh, its evolution in a strong and prosperous state, a member of the European and Euro-Atlantic communities of democratic nations. But I would like to mention, although we are celebrating the institution, uh, well, definitely it eventually boils down to people. And uh, I think that the current uh, VOA <coughs> Ukrainian service has an excellent team, a team of highly professional, energetic, dedicated, and I would say basically likable people. And we consider you, <laughs> and we consider you definitely a part of the family at the embassy. So you're always welcome for soul food, <laughs> no soul food for any events. And now the most important part of my presentation, to underscore, I'll put my glasses. 
Uh, so I brought with me the uh, uh, congratulation from the president of Ukraine. So it was issued on 11th of December to the chief and staff members of the Voice of America Ukrainian Service. Dear friends, accept my cordial greetings on the occasion of the 60th anniversary since the first programs of the Ukrainian Service of the Voice of America have been on the air. During the years of the Cold War, your voice was one of the rare mediums through which our compatriots could receive objective and truthful information about events in Ukraine and the world over. It was from the VOA programs that many Ukrainians had learned for the first time about the crimes of Stalinism, the Holodomor of 1932-1933, the traditions of the fight for freedom of the Ukrainian people, the activities of dissident human rights leaders. You have won the trust of millions of listeners with your commitment to the freedom of speech, a clear democratic positioning, and your ardent love for Ukraine. Your work has become exemplary for generations of journalists who, before and after Ukraine's uh, you regained independence, have been establishing new and free mass media outlets in our country. I pay deep homage to the Ukrainian Service of the Voice of America for your long-standing support of the democratic and patriotic movement in Ukraine, for your contribution into the victory over the totalitarian Soviet regime and into the revival of the Ukrainian nationhood. I wish you all good health, the best of luck, inspiration, and new creative achievements for Ukraine's benefit. Signed, Viktor Yushchenko. Thank you very much, Ambassador Shamshko. I also wanted to mention that we have one other uh, greeting from Ukraine uh, that comes on official parliamentary letterhead. I don't have it with me here, but um, anyway, it comes from uh, Andriy Shevchenko, who is a member of parliament and uh, the, uh, on the Committee of, of Freedom of Press in Ukraine in the parliament. And he sends us uh, warmest regards uh, to uh, the Ukrainian service and the 60th anniversary. And uh, I especially it's uh, very pleasant for me to re receive this greeting because Andriy Shevchenko, as part of his uh, journalistic career before he went into politics, uh, was a stringer for our service uh, in Kyiv. And then he went on to be an editor-in-chief at Channel 5. And uh, when we started our uh, cooperation uh, with Channel 5, and, uh, and it c continued on uh, to Channel, when he went over to Channel 1, and uh, he... Uh, continues to obviously uh, care, about, care about our work in Ukraine. 